Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to class. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I am very happy. Hello, good evening. That's good. That's good. Hello. Welcome. Okay, so I it seems like everyone is very happy, very good. Everything is fine today. I like that. I like that. Okay, perfect. So I'm happy too because we are already in this class. We are in the next week, right? We are already in the, uh, we're about to start the week number three. So we only have uh, 10 more classes to go before this one, yeah. like after this one, uh, because we're going to finish, I think, the 28th. I think that is the last day. I don't know. Let me check. So the 27th, it seems like we're going to finish the 27th. Monday. Yeah. So in two weeks. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be finishing in a month. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, but thank you very much for your attendance. You know that attendance is not about saying present or not, or I'm here. Attendance is about all the minutes that you are connected to the class. And also, it's about participation because we can connect to the classes, just be here, but we need to participate. That's the way we're going to learn. Okay. So, thank you very much. And thank you to the people that are telling me why they. For example, I think Jonathan Perez, Jonathan Stanley is this one, right? He is sick, so he's going to be a listener today. So I understand that. Excellent. I hope you get better soon. I hope you get well soon. Okay, but thank you. Always thank you for letting me know. It is important that you let me know because, you know, yeah, we have to let people know why you are listeners in this class. Let me send a message to your classmates so they can connect to today's class. We're gonna say hello. We are ready. We are ready and waiting for you. Excellent, there we go. Okay, so anyways, as I was saying before, this is the last day of section two. We are no. about to start section three tomorrow. Uh, that means that we only have two more weeks to go and then we finish, right? As you know, the last day uh, of classes, we're going to have a survey. Vamos a hacer una encuesta. We're going to have a survey on the last day of classes. So please be here on time so we can start with the survey on time. Okay. So that's it. Pretty much it. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any questions before? Oh, yeah. And I have to tell you. Si tengo que decirles algo ahora. Hoy le voy a decir una cosita. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, do you have questions? No? Today, I was checking your grades and not everybody, y le di tiempo porque tendría que haberla chequeado desde el viernes. Not everybody has work on the platform. Mm -mm. Like section two, so, so, in the midterm, just a few students, like como la mitad del grupo is on midterm. The other half, nothing. So yeah, you guys, we have to work. We have to work. Uh, well, I'm gonna go with the attendance. And then when I finish with the attendance, I'm gonna tell you que notas me aparecen de ustedes, okay? So first, let's go with the attendance. And how many participants do I have? 15 but 14 participants because I am number 20. I mean, I mean, I'm doing some six, 15 participants. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna send. Remember, we the attendance is about the minutes connected. Okay. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Present, Miss. Okay. You are a listener today, Adán. Send me, send me a message yeah. with the reason. Yes. Oh, you're sick. Y aún no he llegado a casa, fíjese. Oh, okay, okay. Let me know when you get home, okay, Adán. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. 
Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edenil Edilson Reyes Portillo. Present, Miss. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela y Amilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, Miss. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, Miss. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. José Ernesto. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. It seems like Karen is with another student. Se escucha un eco cuando hablan. Yes, because um, I'm connected with my cell phone, but uh, right now I'm here with the computer. Ah, okay. That was yes. because there was an echo. Yes, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Uh, so, Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario sent a message, I believe. Uh, Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Yes, Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Noé Aníbal González López. Ese mismo. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay, okay, that's it. So we're going to continue here, but before we continue, I would really like to go with your work on the platform. Because today in the morning, I was checking and not everybody has finished the platform. Well, I mean, section two and the meter, which were the requirements for the last session, right? On Friday, on Friday, you were supposed to finish section two and the meter, but not everybody, pero no todos han terminado eso. So I'm gonna send, I'm gonna tell you, by hasta el momento que yo verifique en la plataforma en la mañana, las notas estaban en la siguiente forma. Les digo uno por uno. Adán Antonio, 188 y 100. O sea, así va, unidad 1, unidad 2 y examen. 188 y 100. Carlos Amílcar, 100, 100, 0. Daniel Enrique, 88, 96, 100. Edgar Edilson, 100, 100, 100. Edwin Alexis, 80, 0, 0. Esmeralda del Rosario, 100, 80, 0. Gabriela, 100, 100, 95. Jonathan Stanles, 152, 0. Jorge Ernesto, 100, 0, 0. José Ernesto, 100, 100, 100. Karen Berenice, 100, 100, 100. Marco Antonio, 100, 92, 0. Mario Antonio, 100, 0, 0. Mario Cristóbal, 100, 0, 0. Marlon Fabricio, 0, 0, 0. Ma Marvin Enrique, 100, 100, 100. Mauricio Antonio, 152, 0. Miguel Antonio, 176, 0. Noé Aníbal, 100, 100, 100. Noé Gabriel, 164, 85. <coughs> Salvador Orlando, 96, 52, 0. Sara Raquel, 87, 52, 0. Sergio Adolfo, 100, 100, 0. Y... Esas son las notas que me parece. Ok, so what does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? That we have to work on the platform. Ok, we have to. Si me parece 100, 100, 100, I'm, I'm perfect. 
But this, this is just like to tell you, right? You have to work on the platform. Para decirles que tienen que trabajar en la platform. No que esas son sus notas. No. Not at all. Si usted quiere ahora trabajar en la noche después de la clase o mañana, si quiere trabajar y las modifica y se saca 100, pues usted sigue teniendo 100 igual que todos los otros classmates. Yes? No, esta no es una nota final. Pero en el reporte que mandé, ya es un inicio. Solo vamos a comprobar que para esta semana que viene, sí tenemos que tener everything done. Section 1, Section 2, midterm. Y para el Friday, Section 3. Yes? Because by, let me see. So we finished the 27th. So the platform should be done by the 24th. Okay, so the on November 24th, that's the last day for the platform. Bueno, voy, a, voy a actualizar las notas, tal vez me parecían un poco, porque yo la, eso la califiqué en today in the morning. Si ya tal vez usted trabajó en la plataforma en la tarde, probablemente ya tiene mejor nota. Es el caso de Sergio, que me dice que ya terminó el examen. Ya, ya, ya. Sí, ya me aparece. En la, en la asistencia, en la de ahora en la tarde. Ya me aparece todo. Este, ya aparecen otras notas, ¿verdad? Ya veo personas que han avanzado aquí un poquito más. Así que, excelente. Pero ese reporte que les hice fue el último que yo actualicé. Pero sí, ahorita ya tengo más personas que han trabajado. Lo voy a volver a actualizar mañana. Así que tal vez ya tengo ahí otras notas. ¿Ok? Porque I have to take it from the platform to an Excel document. ¿Ok? And then I have to send it. Then I have to send the report. So, remember that we have to be doing this Every Friday, I have to check it and I have to send the report. So I have two reports more to send, which is next Friday and then the last Friday, okay? Okay, so, but what? Let me check Marco Antonio. Marco, 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 Marco. 100, 100, 100, 100. Yeah. You got a hand. Wait, wait, wait. Marco Antonio. Marco, 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 Marco. Where are you? Okay. En la mañana me parecía con 92. But now, yes, you have a hundred and a hundred and a hundred. Yes. Everything done. Okay. So just to uh, put a reminder there that you have to be working on the platform. Everyone should be doing that because you know that is our requirement from INSA form. And yeah, it's something we need to do, right? So just to make sure, we're gonna do like a review today of the section two and the midterm. We're gonna do a review all together here in the class today. So we can work on that, okay? Let's see, Um, let's do it right now. We're gonna do it right now. Just to make sure that we are in the same page. Okay, we're on the same page. Okay, so this is the homework number six. So obviously this is the first homework from section two. It says, read the sentences, find the mistake and correct it. And I believe in this case, we only have to write the correction, right? I, I think we can only write the correction. Let me just check. So the first sentence we have there is, there are a store in the city. So the mistake obviously is are. What should be the correct verb? Is. Is, correct. There is one offices in San Miguel. So what is the mistake there? Offices. So it should be office, right? There is three distribution centers in Ilopango. What is the mistake? There are. are. Uh, there is, wait, 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 wait. Porque hay dos oraciones aquí. I don't get it. I don't get it. There is a news office. New. New. And there are not person to work. Is People. 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 Yes, people, people, because people. person is singular and people is plural. Let's see. Correct. 
the, everything is correct. Just wait a second. Permítanme un momento. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so this is homework number seven. Again, is with is and are. There is and there are. So a meeting room. Obviously, this is singular. So the correct option should be are there or is there? Is there? Is there correct? Many restrooms. So this is a plural. Are there or is there? Are there? Are there? Correct. Enough representatives. Are there? Is there? Are there? Correct. To ask a plural question, we use are there or is there? Are, are there. Are there. To ask singular questions, we use is there. Is there. Correct. You see? That's perfect. So homework number eight, I believe we already did it. Yeah. <laughs> we did the is not allowed and are not allowed. Yep. Okay, let's go with homework number nine. Okay, so here we have it. A helmet all the time. So what do you say? ¿Qué decíamos que era cuando usamos algo en el cuerpo? Es? Where. 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 Yeah. Where. Any machine while they are operating. Do not. Don't touch. Don't, don't touch. Between the yellow lines. Walk. Well, Walk. Walk. Fire extinguisher in case of fire. Use. Use. To the meeting point. Go. 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 Correct. It seems like you have been working. Let's go with the next one. Much light in your workplace. Light. This is uncountable. So is there or are there? Is there. is there correct any computer so this is a plural is there or are there are there are there are, are there any paper are there. Is, is there because are there yes is there any paper in the printer Next one says, instruction, unscramble the following sentences. Type them on the spaces provided. Remember to use capital letters at the beginning of your sentences. Capital letters all the time at the beginning of the sentence. And period at the end. So let's find what is the subject in the sentence. People. People, okay. Then the verb to be. Or are I'm not, not allowed, allowed to, to check in late. late. Mm -hmm. And we need the period at the end of the sentence, right? Smoke. Employees not allowed are to. So what is the subject in the sentence? Employees. Okay. Employees. The verb to be is are, then we obviously have yeah. allowed. Mm -hmm. Employees are not allowed. To smoke. To smoke. To to smoke. smoke. Good job. And the period at the end always. Let's see, all the correct. Yeah, good job. Okay, let's go with the next part. It says, um, choose the sequence words that best suit the sentence. If you want to pass your exams, you must study very, every hard, very hard, I mean. First. First. Baby woke up late and then work. Michael finally okay. Opening. My best friend just opened his own shop. What do you need? What do you need? 
or what? I think friend. what I, what I will do. What my friend did. What my friend did. I don't know where she has to start. What, what I'm saying is. What, what I will do. What I will do. Down. No, what I'm saying is. Okay, perfect. Good job. Okay. Let's go to the next part. It says use imperatives. Okay, so the verbs at the beginning of the sentences. To give an order, to give instructions, or to make invitations. Select the right one for each order. Feeling. Feel, uh, feeling. Feeling. Okay. Next. Verify. Verify this chart. Okay. Unplug. Unplug. Desconectar, ¿verdad? Okay, now we need to complete this with should or shouldn't. We should. 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 We should. should. This company shouldn't. Shouldn't. Forget about quality. Oh, we got a mistake. So this one is this chart and check every price. Okay, so I think verify, verify and it yes. I think is feeling read. right or read. Do you think it's free? Okay. Oh, excellent. Good job, guys. Part three. Read the sentences, find the mistakes, and correct it. There are a store in the city. The mistake is. Is sorry. All right, so we need to write is. There is one offices in San Miguel. R. No office. Office. There is three distribution centers in Ilopan. R. R. Again, this is the same thing we did already. <laughs> to ask plurals, we use are there or is there. Are there. Are there. To ask singular questions, we use are there or is there? Is, is there. there. Okay. Okay. Instructions read the following sentences and complete them using the proper form of not allowed. Pay attention to the pronouns. You. What is the verb to be for you? Are. Are not allowed, right? He. What is the verb to be for he? Is. Yes. is not allowed. I, what is the verb to be for I? Um, I'm not allowed. Read the following commands and select the best verb according to the context. A fire station in case of fire. Yes. yes. The fire is still driving. Yes. <clears throat> to the meeting point. Go. No. Okay. Okay. So that's it, you guys. With that, you have a hundred and a hundred. Section one, section two. That's it. We got it, right? So now we are in the section number three, right? And in the section number three, we're gonna talk a little bit about expressions for describing issues. But we're gonna go with that section tomorrow. We're gonna do a review of section number two today because that's what we're supposed to do, okay? Questions so far? No questions? Question. Mm -hmm. Do you have a question? No. no. Okay. I don't have a question. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So now, remember, we were talking about it is not allowed or are not allowed. Okay. So let's do some examples. This is like a review, remember. We're gonna talk about not allowed. Okay, to talk about not allowed, we need the verb to be, well, so we need a subject. We need the verb to be correct for that subject. And then we need not allowed. And then we need to, and the activity we are not allowed to do, right? For example, we can say, in this class, we are not allowed to speak 
Spanish. That can be an example, right? In this class, we are not allowed to speak Spanish. Next, we can say, she, what is the verb to be for she? Yes. Correct. She is not allowed to drive the machine. Okay. We can say they, what is the verb to be for they? Are. Are not allowed to enter here. Okay. Well, let's change this verb and say to come here. Let's say I. What is the verb to be for I? I am um, um, not allowed to um, swear. Do you know what is swear? No? You? What is swear? Would I? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is that. But in this context, it's also use bad words. Okay? So, not to swear is not to use bad words. Okay? So, I am not allowed to swear. Now, these are some examples of the sentences with not allowed. Now, I want you to write at least 10 sentences of what employees are not allowed to do inside of a company, okay? So what is the activity we're gonna do? We're going to write 10 statements about things that people or employees are not allowed to do in the business or in a specific workplace. Do you understand the activity? Yeah? Okay, so we're gonna think about our workplaces and the activities we are not supposed to do in those places, okay? We are not allowed to do it. Okay, let's see, because I don't want to send oyentes to the same break or room. Okay, okay, let's go. 10 sentences, 10. Salvador, welcome to the class. Hello. How are you? Mm. So Fine. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. Well, okay, listen, your classmates are working on uh, the breaker rooms and they are writing sentences about things that are not allowed to do in a company. Okay. I'm going to send you to one, okay? Okay, thank you. Let's send you to number two.
during working hours? During work, así es. Work hours. Wor working hours, creo que es. Hours. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. I think that it's okay. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Okay. Are not allowed to eat on the desk, correct? Employees are not allowed to be late. They are not allowed to drink beer. Employees are not allowed to smoke. People are not allowed to shout in the workplace to shout out. Shout out. No, just correct. It's correct to say shout, but then you say out next to it. Okay. Out to shout out in the workplace. Employees are not allowed to say bad words. Employees are not allowed to use cell phone, to use their cell phone. Their cell phone. Employees are not allowed to listen to listen loud music, or to listen to loud music, to loud music. Okay. Uh, they are not allowed to wear informal clothes. Employees are not allowed to play video games during working hours. Okay, let me do something correct, 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 correct. And now, <laughs> because you like it, I know, para recordar la escuelita, no me quedo bien. Pero... <laughs> okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my God. To talk mm -hmm. while we are working. Uh, we are not allowed. Hello, don't remember. No, se les olvida. Porque ahí veo que dice, it's not allowed to smoke. And you can say, it is not allowed to smoke. Don't rem not don't allowed to smoke. Stop. Okay, thanks. It. Se nos está olvidando el it. It is not allowed to smoke. Hello, Edwin. ¿Estará de oyente en la clase? Hello, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, solo me manda ahí la razón en, en un mensaje privado, please. Ok, teacher. En este momento se lo envío. Ok, thank you. You're welcome.
Oh my god, it's not possible. Ay. What? Sorry. What is not possible? <laughs> Nothing, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, so we're coming back here to do the next activity. So we were doing this, what it is not allowed, it is not allowed to do in many companies. So now we are going to do our reading, okay? And for this reading activity, wait a minute. Okay, listen. So for this reading activity, we're going to uh, read this article about directions and instructions, right? We have four points here and like a specific points. And I'm gonna give you the pronunciation to all of this. After that, when we finish the reading, we're gonna do, or we're gonna answer some questions, okay? Listen to me. If there is vocabulary that you don't know or you don't understand, you can ask me, okay? Let's see. It says, Reading, read the following article about giving instructions to staff. Check true or false for the items below. First, we're gonna do the reading, of course. Okay, so let's see. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most wit, I guess with, Sorry, it should be with. We're gonna be correcting. It's okay. This one, we're gonna delete it. And we're gonna write with. Okay. I wish it was smaller but I don't think we can do it smaller. Okay. Okay. Uh, mean, with most people in your office or business. Yeah. Will be intuitive, intuitive. But what is the meaning of with? Let's wait, with. Let me see if there's a meaning for that because I don't think there is a meaning, but let's see. Wist. Wist a classic a tracking car. Wist meaning. Wist in Spanish. Wist. 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 Un jugar ejemplo, pronunciación de wist. I have never played wist. No, wist is a game. So, most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. While, I think they meant to say while, something like that. We're going to delete that word. Well, we're going to read it like that. Okay. Anyways, we're going to read it like that. Again, I'm going to start again. Sorry about that. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say, that assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch on. They are not mind readers. And imperative when, an imperative when delivering clear instructions is to not assume peep that recipient the recipient, the recipient, the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Whilst you don't want to ramble in your set of instructions, that will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switch off after a while. You do 
want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to the point, to the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered, rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who have instructed consider who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days. Then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Number four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are not if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Okay? So questions? Do you have any questions before we go with the deadline? Deadline, like fecha limite de entrega de algo. Wilst. What is it? Wilst. Yeah, don't pay attention to that. I think it's like wild. Mientras que. Oh. Switch it on? Switch it on, like cambiar. They are not mind readers? No son leedores de mentes. Okay. No leen mentes. Industry ac ac acronyms, acronyms. Uh, industry acronyms. Ac acronimo? ¿Sabe qué es un acrónimo? Por ejemplo, en inglés, en español. <laughs> it's okay. Un acrónimo es, por ejemplo, AES. Eh, ah, ok. Es, un, es como una abreviatura. Ah, un acrónimo es eso. Es las primeras letras de las diferentes palabras. Okay. Por ejemplo, e e u, -U. Estados Unidos. Okay. Rumble. Wait, se me juntaron dos autos. Wait, wait, y después Karen, dígame no. Put it up. Put it up, como um, llenarlo de mantequilla, dice ahí literalmente, pero significa como no andarse por las ramas. Okay. Karen. Rumble. Rumble. And... No, where is it? And uh, while list, you don't want to rumble on in your set. The second. The oh, you don't want to rumble on in. Okay, so rumble is like como no quiere llenarlo de muchas palabras. Okay. Okay, I'm going to send you specific pronunciations. Le voy a enviar uno por uno porque así es como es mucho la lectura. So I'm going to send you one by one, okay? Let's go with number one first. Number one, don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say, that assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. With most people, in your office or business will be intuitive or switched on, they are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instructions is 
to not assume the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from industry acronyms to who to contact in different departments or organizations. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Number two, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instructions. Well, you don't want to ramble on in your set of instructions that will be a waste of your time. And to be honest, they switched off after, after a while. You do want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, I prefer not to butter it up and would rather get straight to the point on what needs to be actioned or delivered rather than making the instructions too flowery, which will only confuse. Number three, keep time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Number four, give examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what it is you mean and want. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna read this, practice reading, we're gonna come back here and we're gonna do the reading together. I'm gonna choose some participants to help me with the reading, okay? Okay, perfect. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go. Hello. No le digo la invitación, ¿no es? Le di cancelar por error. Sorry. <risa> vaya, le voy a mandar a la sala 2, pero no se vaya a unir ahí porque esa no es su sala. Y a la 1 sí.
Okay. I read the number three. Don't not confuse. No, sorry. Give time frames. Don't not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your college. If you think soon is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication, communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Okay, I'm going to read. Sergio. I have you read, you read number, the, number, number three. three. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, you can see it? Yes. Okay. Give time frames. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your colleagues. If you think soon is the next next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days. Okay. Okay, thank you, Sarita. Two, be clear and specific. Everyone love uh, waffling. Dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instruction. Wills, you don't want to rumble on in your set of instruction. That would be a waste of your time and to be honest, they switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your instructions are clear, specific, or concise. Personally, I prefer not to bother it up and would rather get straight to be the point on what do what need to
Hello. Okay, so one more minute and then I'm gonna choose uh quienes van a venir a leer aquí. Okay, so please be ready. I know. Welcome. You be here. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back. Hello. So, Hello. what are we going to do right now? I'm going to choose the participants who are going to read, okay? And to choose the participants, we're going to leave it to your luck. Vamos a dejarlo la suerte de ustedes. Okay? So, we're going to see. Here we have the roulette. Ya saben cómo funciona esto. 
Yeah, no lo voy a decir yo. I'm not gonna choose. It's gonna be the roulette. Vamos a elegir quién va a leer la parte número uno, okay? Let's see. Y vamos a elegir one, two, three, and four. And then, vamos a elegir otros participantes, porque hay más, okay? Let's start. Esa ruleta está arreglada. Ah. <laughs> Esta mañana. Oh! Salvador is gonna read number one, okay? We're gonna choose number two. Let's go. Oh, no, wait, 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 Oh, no, no, no. no. Bueno, si no me sale Salvador, está bien. Ok, no. claro. Vamos a poner a Salvador y Cara. We need to repeat because <laughs> Salvador. Ok. Oh, oh, Karen. Karen. Salvador okay. y Karen. Let's start again. Clarity. Ay, ¿dónde los ven? Están bien ansiosos. Looking at the roulette. I'm excited. Oh, Gabriela. <laughs> Gabriela. Now yes, let's see. Gabi, Gabi. Let's, y este es el último. Let's see. <laughs> no, no escondí a los que tenía que esconder. Sorry. Es Karen. It's Salvador. Salvador. Y it's Gabi. Ok, let's see. Sara. Congratulations. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go. So, Salvador, we start with you. Then, ya saben cada quien su orden, okay? Okay, Salvador, you can start. Okay. Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assume, assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool, they assume people know what you mean. Which most people in your offer or business will be intuitive and switch an arm. They are not mind readers. And an imperative when delivering clear instruction is not assume the receipt now what you mean. And this can and end this can be for anything from industry act acronyms to who to contact to contact in different departments or organizations it will only take you a few seconds more to explain to explain the details excellent good job thank you let's see vamos, lo vamos a corregir un par de mis like a little bit more pronunciations intuitive intuitive, intuitive. switched switched and instructions. Final T, switch. Yeah, switched. Okay, switch. Thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you. Good job, Salvador, thank you. Let's go with the next participant, and I believe it's Karen. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Loud and clear. Yes. claro, loud and clear. Okay, be clear and specific. Everyone loves a waffle, dripping in maple syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and especially not in an email or when it is a set of instruction. Why less wheels? You don't want to rumble on in your set of instruction. That will be a, wa a waste of your time and to be honest, they switch off after a while. You don't want to ensure that your ins your instructions are clear, specific, and concise. Personally, personally, I prefer not to bar it up and would rather get a strength to be the point on what needs to be action or delivered rather than making the instruction to flowery, which which will only confuse. Excellent, good job. Let's just review. Waffle. Waffle. 
syrup. Syrup. Eh, aquí me dijo don't. Yo creo que fueron los nervios. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent, Karen. Let's go with number three, which is Gabby. Give time, friends. Do not confuse matters by not being specific with your time, frames, and deadlines. What you consider as some might be very different from your college. If you think some is the next couple of hours, yet your staff who you have instructed consider it to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implication in any business or project. Excellent, good job, Gabby. Just a few corrections is matters, be in hours. Hours, okay. Okay, let's go with Sara, thank you. Number four, give yeah. examples. Whenever possible, make sure you give examples. This will be especially beneficial if they are new to the role or if they haven't carried out the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help form a clearer picture of what is you mean and want. Excellent, good job. No mistake you. there, excellent. Okay, you guys, let's give an applause to Salvador, Karen, Gabi, and Sara. Excellent, good job, good job, you guys, excellent. That was good. Okay, now we're gonna have a second reading, of course, and we're gonna choose some other participants. Si creían que dijeron, uff, ya me salvé. No, my God, no, claro que no. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Come on, Miss. No, come on, you. Sir, I, I, I can participate. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver si le da la suerte, si no le dejo el 4. Ok, Jorge is going to be number one, ok. So we have number one Jorge there. Miguel. Wait a moment, I need to... So Miguel and Jorge, where is Jorge? Jorge is here, okay, let's go. Marvin. En la compañera que me dijo que podía participar, Gisela, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go. Number one, it's going to be Jorge, two Miguel, three Marvin, and four Gisela, okay? Let's start with Marvin in number, I mean Jorge in number one. Okay. Um... Don't assume they know what you mean. You know what they say. That assumption is the mother of all mistakes. Don't be the fool that assumes people know what you mean. Which most people in your office or business will be intuitive and switch it on. They are not mind readers. An imperative when delivering clear instruction, it is not as soon the recipient knows what you mean. And this can be for anything from an industry acronym to who to contact in different department or organization. It will only take you a few seconds more to explain the details. Okay, excellent. Good job. Thank you very much, Jorge. Yes, let's go with some corrections. Switched, switched on, and okay. details, details. Details. Okay, number two, okay. let's go with Miguel. Miguel, you ready? Ready. Okay. Everyone loves a wife, 
waffle. Dripping in waffle syrup, please. But no one likes waffle in conversation and specifically, specifically not in an email or when it is a set, set of, of instruction whilst you don't want to rumble on in your set of instructions what would be a waste for your mind for your time and to be honest while switch off after a while you don't want to ensure ensure that your instructions are clear specific and concise personally personally i prefer not to bury bury it up and will read rather get straight to be up to be point on what need to be action or delivered rather than us rather than making the instruction to flowery which will only confuse excellent miguel thank you very good good job let's just okay. do a few corrections is waffle waffle especially especially instructions instruction waste waste date concise concise personally personally but it but it and delivered delivered okay, okay. excellent thank you very much miguel now let's go with number three, which I believe is Marvin. Give time frames. Do not confuse mothers by not being specific with your time frames and deadlines. What you consider as soon might be very different from your college. In your, if you think soon is the next couple of hours. Yet your staff who you have instructed consider in to be in a few days, then this communication is going to have serious implications in any business or project. Okay, excellent. Good job, Marvin. Just one correction, colleagues. Okay, colleagues. So just that one correction. Co colleagues. Okay. Now let's go with Gisela. Okay, Gisela. Yes, I'm yes, sorry. And give the example. Whenever pos possible, make sure you give the example. This will be especially beneficial if they are near to the road or if they have not carried up the task before. This will help to add clarity to your instructions and help for a clearer picture of what it is, is you mean and want. Excellent. Good job, Isela. Just a few corrections. Haven't. Haven't. Carried out. Carry out. Instructions. Instructions. Drop, drop. Instructions. Instructions. Yeah, that's better. Excellent. Thank Good you. job. Thank you. Okay, so we have uh, Jorge, Miguel, Marvin, and Gisela. Good job, you guys. You did an amazing job there. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, what are we going to do? In the last part is this one, right? So in this part here, we're going to say if the sentence is true or false based on the reading, okay? So I'm going to send you that and you're going to tell me true or false. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. There you have it. What did I do? My goodness. What did I do? Okay. There you have it. So we're just going to say true or false. True or false. Okay. 
let's go.
hello, so we know that it's almost time to go to bed, right? Hello. So we're gonna, hello. Great, so your classmates are coming back. Okay, let's see. So number one, just read it and tell me if it is true or false. Okay, Esmeralda. Esmeralda del Rosario. Perdón, pensé que tenía encendido el micrófono. It's okay. According to the article, it is fine to make a substance a fault. Okay, assumptions. Assumption. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Esmeralda. Good job. Let's go now with, let's see, Aníbal López. 24 hours. Read the sentence and tell me if it is true or false. It is important to go straight to the point to be clear. Uh, true. Okay, excellent. Noé Pérez, number three. People will get confused with the direction if we use too many words. True. Okay, excellent. Let's go with Carlos Amilcar. Four. To avoid misunderstandings, one should be clear. One should be very clear in time frames. Uh, true. Okay, excellent. Edgar Redilson. Five. Edgar? No? Sergio Adolfo? It is fine if the employees made a mistake. Later we can we can show some examples. Uh, false. Okay, excellent. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's go with the last attendance because I know you wanna go Mimir, me wanna go Mimir too. So yeah. Okay, let's go. Adán Antonio Ramírez Aguirre. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Cifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Present, Miss. José Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corleto. Present, Miss. Mario Antonio Reyes Verganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. Present, Miss. Noé Aníbal González López. Present, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present, Miss. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present, Miss. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present. En Gisela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay, that will be it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. On the platform. Don't forget. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Bye.